welcome friends in this video let's discuss about critically endangered fish species that are present in india for iucn red list for for the main video on iucn red list please watch my previous videos and come back here first let's look at the pondicherry shark this pondicherry shark is a marine fish please remember marine fish that occurs inshore inshore as well as the continental shelves okay and the distribution includes indian ocean is the major area for this not it, it not only present in india it also present uh, in the region from gulf of oman to pakistan okay to pakistan and in india also and possibly sri lanka and it scattered uh, in the area spanning from india to new guinea okay india to new guinea and it has it has also been recorded at the mouth of the hooghly river so these are the different areas uh, which these species are found the threats include the large expanding and unregulated commercial fishing is one of the important threat to the species and this is also exploited for the uh, as part of the commercial exploitation and next is ganges shark ganga shark and it is a uniquely adapted fish eating shark so uh, in the previous the pondicherry shark it's a marine fish so it is also present in the uh, ganga river water here the ganga shark Okay, it is uniquely adapted fish eating shark that occurs in the turbid water of the Ganga River. Okay, and Bay of Bengal. It has the narrow eyes, small eyes, and it is an adaptation uh, to the turbid waters of the uh, River Ganga. While the slender teeth of the species suggest that it is primarily a fish eater, and it grows to a maximum length of the two feet, uh, uh, more than seven feet. Okay, two two meters. Sorry, two meter. And the distribution here is it mainly present in India as well as in Pakistan. to certain extent and the ganga river system and hooghly river mouth are known uh, for its habitats so it is a riverine shark okay and the threats include the major fisheries uh, targeting sharks and other, uh, other other probable threats include over fishing the pollution of the ganga river increasing river use construction of dams and barrages which obstruct the natural flow of this water and also the movement of the shark is are some of the threats Uh, for the ganga river shark and next is knife tooth sawfish okay this has a long narrow snout okay with blade like teeth so teeth is blade like uh, and it has shark like body okay it is sawfish but it has a shark like body and it, sp it spends most of its uh, time near the bottom of the sea okay and sometimes going down to almost 40 meter below the sea level and it can grow up to 2.8 meter in length and can withstand a range of salinity condition so this is resistant to salinity condition it is found in the shallow coastal waters and estuaries as well okay coastal waters as well as estuaries this is the areas of its spread and distribution includes the indo pacific region including the red sea red sea okay and the threats include this sawfish are uh, targeted for the fishing okay it is also uh, collected as bycatch as part of the um, fishing okay and commercial and uh, subsistence fishing their long tooth studded saw okay the long tooth studded saw uh, entangle with the fishing nets so this is one of the vulnerability of this uh, uh, knife tooth saw uh, even though it, it was not intended for its catching it it in, entangles with the fishing net and get caught so while well, saw fish are caught by catch the often end up being traded because they are very high value of their products for example their meat is very ex very high quality and the fins and saws are extremely valuable in the international trade so these are some of the threats to the soft tooth fish so this is soft fish not not a shark and next is lard large tooth soft fish so this is large tooth soft fish and these are heavy bodied soft fish with a short but massive saw okay and they grow up to 3 meter in length and it is seen seasonally and very occasionally caught along the uh, bull sharks and green sawfish so these are associated with these 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 two uh, fish species so this is caught along with these shark species okay distribution and habitat the western part of the indo pacific region that is east africa new guinea philippines and vietnam to australia this is the area which uh, of its distribution in india it is known uh, to occur in the mahanandi river okay and from mahanandi river it is from the mouth to up to 64 km inland and it is also very common in the estuaries of the ganga and brahmaputra river as well and the threats include is same as that of the sawfish that i discussed earlier along with that it is also having higher demand uh, for the aquaria 
okay aquaria and major habitat changes including the construction of dams uh, over uh, dams over the rivers siltation pollution of the rivers and pollution from industries and mining operations these are some of the threats uh, to this long tooth sawfish next look, look at the long comb sawfish so this is uh, appearing like a comb so that's called a long comb sawfish narrow snout sawfish and it is the biggest of all these spe uh, species that I discussed earlier. It grows up to 4.3 meter in length and are heavily exploited by human beings. <clears throat> then this species was reported frequently found in the shallow waters. Okay, and it inhabits muddy bottoms and also enters estuaries. So muddy waters and estuaries are its known habitat, and its presence has been recorded in inshore uh, marine waters. And it goes goes down uh, to depth of at least 40 meters. So this is the depth. Uh, where it is present. It, it goes too deeper into the uh, layer and distribution and habitat it is distributed <coughs> excuse me Indo-Pacific region including Australia, Cambodia, China, India, Indonesia and Malaysia. Okay the threats uh, include uh, these are targeted so targeted fishing is happening for, for this species as incidental bycatch as well. So it was not intended to catch but it, it was caught as part of other fishing operations so in commercial sports and shark control uh, uh, net fisheries as well as for aquarium dis display it is also uh, harvested as a result it has become severely depleted in recent decades and now it appears to have been uh, extinct from many part of its range so this is it about these fishes please like share and subscribe to the channel and please subscribe uh, through your email address so link is given in the description box below uh, it, it it will be helpful for me uh, to send you the notification and uh, various updates related to uh, the coming videos thank you thanks for watching